How's he still? Uh, oh my yeah, god! How's he still you know, doing that? He has to switch cars. Yo, is that a gas station? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was yo. I thought it was GDs, bro. Somebody running out the front. Look at this. Look at this. A confrontation inside the house, a family home, and now we're gonna come around the front here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look. It's obvious the cops don't got it, bro. So let's go ahead and call Goku. Let's go call Naruto. Let's go call uh, Nationwide. Let's go. Let's go call somebody who actually like really know what they're doing. Let's call uh. Bubble Guppies, Team Umizumi. Where have you been? So, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. There has been this one police chase that I've been seeing on my fucking, like, timeline and shit like that. And apparently there's a whole video for it, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. This is probably some weird shit to really react to, but I really wanna see... How the people been saying this is the craziest police chase ever and whatever the fuck it may be. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not watching one hour and 40 minutes of this. That's actually dead as hell. I'm not going to hold you. But I do want to see how this police chase went. So let's see how the police chase is and uh, all that. Let's see how it went. David, we will... God damn. All right, bro. Dave, David, we will. Motherfucker has an Xbox, my Hold on. Up over Knott'sbury Farm, looked out the window, and what do you have? Another pursuit. This By the way, Twitch that, is that literally in GTA. Just past the five freeway. Unclear which agency is pursuing this vehicle. Right now, he's going so fast, there's nobody right behind him. But very erratic driving, getting off of the 91 freeway. It's a black Honda Civic. Uh. The driver's side window rolled down. Apparently, this was an attempted traffic stop. As I mentioned, unclear which agency Damn. and who is pursuing here, or if this is. Technically, still in pursuit mode, but what you can see here is that I ain't gonna lie. If this motherfucker's on the chase, this nigga is not stopping at this fucking light. I'm not gonna hoot you, chat. I'm not. I'm not gonna, even gonna lie to you, bro. If I'm driving my car, bro, and I see there's a high speed chase going on, I'm staying far away from that shit because you know motherfuckers just be hitting cars just to hit cars. I'm not gonna capture you. Driving is very dangerous. Very like, bro. He, there's no way he's making that. He just hit that nigga. Thread the needle here, bro. Yeah, he just he definitely scraped These that motherfucker. These two cars at a red light. You can see some front end front end damage Damn. on that bumper. We got now five stars. Left onto Huntington Avenue, just south of the 91 freeway. This appears to be a residential street, doing about 60 miles per hour down Damn. a residential street. Yo, uh, just 60 east. down a residential street is actually fucking insane, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. Doing 60 down a residential street, nigga, is like doing fucking English and math, my nigga. It just doesn't fucking make sense to do that shit. Of Maple Street, so Huntington Avenue. And Maple Street just coming up on Maple, making a right turn now, slowing down just a little bit, zigzagging his way okay. again through this. Well, I there's no cars here with nobody right behind him, but making random turns nonetheless here at a pretty high rate of speed and not really stopping for any of these stop signs. Looks like he's pulling over and maybe thinking about dumping the vehicle. There goes the driver's side door opening up. Why is he stopping? He is either gonna walk or run away here, dropped his phone. Oh. I'm not going to hold you. He probably ran out of gas. He probably ran out. You know, I was wondering that the other day. I actually made a skit, a skit on that. I was wondering, what motherfuckers do, bro, when they're just driving and the car battery either die, happen to die, or motherfuckers run out of gas, bro? Because if you're doing a high-speed chase, eventually you're going to run out of gas. I'm not going to capture you. So that that I'm, I'm assuming that's the only reason I can see this motherfucker leaving the car for any reason. I'm not going to capture you. And now, maybe getting in the vehicle. We'll see here. Not, uh, it looks like he's very, very agitated in a rush to get away from that vehicle. Getting in a pickup truck. We'll see if he... Okay, yeah, he does not... He does... I was going to say, maybe he happens... Yeah, he's breaking in. Breaking into the pickup truck. Where'd the police at? Twitches in GTA. Bro. He dropped his AirPods. Yo! Damn. That's tough. That's tough. That nigga really dropped his damn nigga. Come on, man. Come on, bro. He dropped his AirPods. He just looked at his AirPods and just let that shit go, bro. Nigga, fuck the AirPods. <laughs> I mean, yeah, where he go? What was the point? Right. So he's getting back in that original car. Almost for a second, looks like he was uh, intentionally getting in that pickup truck, as if he also had the keys. But obviously, where is the cops at? Now choosing to get away in that original pursuit vehicle. I could tell you that Anaheim PD's helicopter is overhead here. They have eyes on it. They are probably streaming ABC7 as we speak as well. Uh, and you can see now that getting back is on the Foulmouth Avenue at a high rate of speed after 
failing to take over that pickup truck back in that original Honda Civic uh, as he tries to hide out Lisa somewhere in this neighborhood. Is this unclear. nigga in fucking passive mode? I have not seen a copy yet, my nigga. Where, where are the police at, nigga? Neighborhood. So heading northbound now on Catalpa Avenue into oncoming lanes of traffic. Some wild turns here. They have to get some ground units into this area because the driving, as I see it, is just way too dangerous. How's the craziest case? I ain't seen a police car yet. In the middle of rush hour. Yeah, but leisurely really strong. Like, bro, no. Y'all have to understand, this motherfucker had all the time in the world to really just, like, break into that fucking car, bro. Like, he at least had 30 seconds, bro, to try to break into that car. He failed, but he definitely had a little bit of time. I'm like, yo, where are these niggas located at that they're not getting this nigga? Okay. You've got to wonder right off the bat whether this vehicle belongs to him. It just doesn't make sense that he would just dump the vehicle for no other reason except for maybe the possibility of the fact that it might be running out of gas. So if the gas is low uh, and if it's a yeah, stolen car, saying, that would make a lot of sense. Now he's parking it in a parking spot. I like how bro it. just nicely parked his car, bro. Like, motherfucker, he wasn't on the fucking run, bro. Nigga just, like, neatly parked his car in a parking spot that happened to be open, bro. Just, you might as well just leave your car anywhere. Why are you parking your, why are you parking anywhere, my nigga? Like, you already breaking the law, motherfucker. Fucking worried about where he's parking at, my nigga. Like that car is not yours. And Bernard was the game. Really, really trying to get rid of this vehicle, and now running through oh, okay. the subdivision here. We'll try and get across here. It looks like it's going to be North Schooner Lane as he runs Schooner through these Lane. Uh, in Human Anaheim. decency. We'll try again. We'll try and get. If we widen now, we'll see. Okay. Let's stay on him. Stay on him right here. He's just running around this building here. Uh, looks like he's coming up on another couple of cars parked here. A van and a small red compact car. Looks like he's trying to break in to the van. He finds an open door. An open door in that white van. Always and Motherfucker, always lock your doors type shit. I'm not going to cap you because this, this van, there's no way he about to actually like you know what I'm saying? Without no keys. Unless this motherfucking can hot wire type shit. That would be crazy. I'm not going to And lie. now you can see the black and whites. There you go. Right About he's time. In. Okay. He's he's inside the car, likely trying to hot wire at this Twitch. point. And you can see they have lit him up. Imagine the panic this dude is going through right now. And if he tries to back right. out, it could get ugly. But in any event, officers now with their guns drawn. Okay, so that should be it. Really, wait. They had their eyes on him. They're just it waiting for be. backup at this point, and obviously trying to uh, bark some orders at him, Bro. hoping he gets out of the vehicle. Let's try and come around the other Bro. side if we can. If it's oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a. We're actually on the north side of the Disneyland TFR, so we actually are going to be forced to hold this position right here. What is here. going on? Unfortunately, we can't see the driver's side of that white van. But again, if you're just tuning in, there is a pursuit driver that is just trying. Look at this. He looks all right, bro. If these motherfuckers let this nigga the like, I'm not gonna hold you. This like, these have to be. I'm not gonna cap to you, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you, bro. If niggas let this nigga go, bro, I guarantee I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I'm not trying to make this about race. I'm just saying, if this was a brother, bro, would have already been like, you know what I'm saying? Already would have been GGs for bro. It already it would already would have been GGs for bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, there's no way they're about to let him out right here. Look at this! Ramming into the front of that black and white. How's he is gonna get out? Fullerton police. Fullerton police. Block him in. Now trying to block him in as he puts this it is in just reverse. A start? There's He's no going way. up and down. To, well, I don't, he has nowhere to go here. He's really trying to no. ram that car. There's out no of his way, way he gets out. He is now stuck in that parking spot. There's really. By the way, no why is there only one cop car here? Like, there's just so much wrong with this. Nowhere for him to go. He's got a fence in front of him. The cur look at this. Look at the violently into reverse, ramming right into that Fullerton Police Department vehicle. Okay, how? Don't let him. That's get right, out. nigga. Yes. Don't he? Yo, yo, this yo. Is very dangerous. They're Obviously, pressing you. That officer has no choice. They're pre No, he yes, he does. If his life is in danger, but he is waiting for backup, and at this point, really has the very. Why don't y'all fucking discharge that fucking amendment that y'all so proud of, my nigga? Cause what the fuck, my nigga? 
Alright, play this as background music. As long as it's not fucking copyright, my nigga. Here, and he's he's gonna probably try and ram it again or do a four point turn and turn it around. He's gotta turn it all the way around so with this that. This nigga that just tree. hit a sign, he bro. May have a couple minutes to do it here because what else? What else can those officers do? They Y'all could do a couple things. Now, I don't know if I can say it on here, but y'all could actually do a couple things. Y'all could do several things here. Y'all could do several things here. Now, I'm not a police officer. Here, I'm motherfuckers go. Yo, you're right. You're not, you're not a police officer. You don't know what to do in that situation. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because motherfuckers just get away with everything. But with, with this motherfucker, we just going to let this nigga back out like this heavy, my nigga. Like, come on. They really don't have many options. Here comes the backup. Here comes backup. Head to head. This is dangerous. Look at this. Weave. Head on. Hold on. Weave. Weave. Hold on. Full car. Officers out of the vehicle. Okay. Okay. And now he's racing through the subdivision as more officers race into this. Okay. There's just no way. Blue Rye, stop pausing. Nigga, suck dick. Um, bro, there's no way he about to go weave all these motherfuckers, bro. Like, that will actually be an embarrassment to the whole police station, bro. If he's just weave all these motherfuckers. Neighborhood. Look at this. What is he going to do here? Around all. All of those black and whites, those are two uh, Fullerton police officers. Bro, how? Officers that are now going to try to three cars. Look at this. Look at there what we're seeing here. He there are three cars on him right there. Avenue after evading four separate black and whites oh who God, were just bro. pulling into the neighborhood to try and help that original officer uh, after a wild scene in that parking lot. We now have who's willing to, to engage with those cops like that. Look at this. Manning has all this traffic. I can't focus with this fucking goofy ass music in the back, my nigga. Hold on. That's right. And anybody who is willing I speed it to, up to like shit. With those Look at this. He took the mirror off of a fucking Tesla, nigga. He took the mirror off of a Tesla, bro. That I know that I know I know bro in this car has to be hurt. Teslas are a very expensive cars. Like he has to be hurt, bro. He has to be hurt. Randy has all this traffic here as he tries to get back on the freeway. It looks like he's trying to get back on the 91 freeway. He sideswipes two separate cars to get through that red light. Getting back on the 91 freeway. Surely CHP is being called in here as Fullerton police really has their hands tied. Uh, many of Imagine officers... spending like really just stacking up your bread, bro, and just some random motherfucking a white van that he stole just comes and fucking takes both your mirrors off and fucks up the right side of your car. You're the left side of your car, bro. Just mad as fuck, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. That was meant to happen. I have not seen them uh, get much closer to him. And now he's on the westbound side of the 91 freeways. I was about to say, anybody who is that reckless and willing to put themselves in that position where they're face to face with those officers, uh, it is a desperate suspect behind the wheel here. And obviously, obviously, Sorry, this nigga talking fast is hilarious. Getting out of the five. 94. God damn. And he just has no regard. He has no problem ramming into anybody at this point or sideswiping any vehicle that's in his way. So I think we are about to see some really dangerous, uh, well, very precarious situation here for every motorist who you see in this frame. Again, westbound side of the 91 freeway has now transitioned to the southbound 5 freeway. I'm sorry, the northbound 5 freeway. I love freeway. Blue Rye. Happy birthday. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's skip. Let me see. God damn, this nigga. A failed traffic stop refusing to pull over. He was in a black Honda Civic when it all started. And it appeared we saw him on several occasions trying to dump that vehicle. And now he has taken over a white van. The GMC van, almost like a work van that was parked in those townhomes. Now on Artesia Boulevard. How is this nigga getting this far? To catch up with the suspect. But once again, no black and whites in sight as he is breaking every rule of the road. And showing no black and whites inside. You mean the police? Ah, uh, okay, okay. No I regard for anybody's safety here. Just ramming into people. Things that we're seeing here. He is driving very dangerously, but they've got to figure something out because this is the same driving that we were seeing when he was in a small little black Honda Civic. Uh, we were very easily able to spot him on the freeway. Look at this. More traffic in his way. We'll see what he does here. But every time he's caught himself in a little bit of a jam, he just tries to use the... Yo, that car is scared as fuck. Yo, yo, yo. W press, W press, W press. Yo, this car, old car was scared as fuck. And realistically, I'd be scared as shit too. I see this motherfucker coming, bro. Fuck, well, I'm getting the fuck out the way too. Traffic in his way. We'll see what he does here. But every time he's caught himself in a little bit of a jam. Mo, you see how he just went? He just went off, bro. He's not. The road is not even right there, bro. Just went off. He just tries to use the vehicle to ram his way through here. Looks like he's gotten through that light there. We're on Valley View Avenue. As I was mentioning, it was very easy to spot him on the freeway originally because the driving was so erratic. And again, throughout this pursuit, except for when he stole this vehicle, uh, he has had really Damn. nobody behind him. He's just driving like a madman through the streets of Whittier now here on Valley View Avenue at Alonzo. I would really be scared as fuck driving like this, bro. In his way, and we'll see what he uh, attempts to do here. But I gotta believe that that Honda was running out of fuel. You saw some front end damage. And, and by the way, this car has to be like at least like 2004. There's no way that shit is pushing like that, nigga. There's no way that car is pushing like. There's no way that car is pushing like that, my nigga. I'm not gonna catch collisions you. with that car, and we already have witnessed several collisions with this car. Not to mention that wild scene in the parking lot. If you missed it, I hope we can roll back some of that video where he was ramming that black and white, that lone Fullerton police officer who was just trying to block the parking spot with his gun drawn. He rammed that black and white out of the way, and the pursuit is on once again. But right now, as we've been saying, no law enforcement able to keep up with him just yet. Am I gonna lie, cops? Y'all niggas could have saved a lot of niggas' money if you just, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm just saying. Blue Rise, stop blaming the cops. They could. I, my nigga. That Tesla is definitely oh. is mad as fuck. Oh, that nigga's on the wrong side of the road. Yo! Over immediate and oncoming lanes of traffic through a parking lot here. He's gonna come out on Rosecrans Avenue. Go the wrong way. Wrong way on Rosecrans. Wrong way on Rosecrans. It's a <laughs> This nigga talking this fast is fucking hilarious, nigga. Oh, shit. He's gonna to jump. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. He's gonna probably shift over to the correct lanes here, but he had nowhere to go there. Didn't jump the median. Just went the wrong way. Is now on the left-bound side of Rosecrans Avenue, heading back towards the freeway. He's gonna come up on the 5 freeway, approaching Norwalk. Uh, if he continues in the westbound direction here, looks like another uh, another uh, crazy turn there onto a surface street. He did a parking spot uh, for no reason. What's Why did he do that? Right over the curb there. I mean, the Why did he do that? He, he, he did not need to do that. Just very unpredictable. Impossible to set up for a spike. Yo. Why did he? Why is he doing that? Yeah, oh, he tried to. Okay, he, he was trying to be behind. Yeah, them wheels are done. There's no way them wheels have any rubber left on them. Them wheels are done. The car chase should end here. If he's swerving like that, either he needs to get a new car or the chase has to be over. There's no way. He is having a lot of trouble with this vehicle, guys. Absolutely not. Yeah, not composed at all. It looks like he might even have a flat tire. Look at this. There are pieces. No, he's done. Yo. Uh, that left rear tire is uh, almost down to, uh, I don't know if there's any tread left, but it uh, looks like he's got some sparks coming off occasionally. I wonder why. Off, and now he's going to have even more trouble, even more trouble maintaining control of this vehicle as he continues northbound on Marquardt Avenue. Uh, right along the wash here, there's a golf course off of the nose, but we are in a commercial Yo. area. Yo. He continues, but there is a black and white now behind him. Code 3 with lights and sirens on, about maybe 50 feet back. Let's go ahead and right now and see which agency that is that's behind him. That looks like the uh, PD. Still Fullerton. It's Fullerton PD. Fullerton PD back in pursuit, guys. How's he still? Uh, oh my yeah, God! How's he still no, doing that? He has to switch cars. Yo, is that a gas station? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was yo. I thought it was GDs, bro. Yo, oh my God. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That I'm not gonna lie. That that's act that actually could have went so crazy, bro. Uh. Yeah, we're in that Norwalk area, I think, now, as he comes up. Well, no, he's not in Norwalk yet, but look at this. He's going through that gas station without any tire on that left, right, that left rear wheel. Almost struck several vehicles there. A miracle nobody's gotten hurt. I don't know, bro. But you can see he is really... Uh, he a master now. driver? Oh, my God. Imagine just mining your own... That looks like a nice car, too. That looks like a fucking futuristic-ass car. What are these cars? Nigga, what are these? Maybe it's from it's because of the top of you. What cars are these, nigga? These look like fucking. All of these look like the same car, but they all look like nice cars, nigga. But bro, imagine just chilling, nigga, in traffic trying to get home, nigga. And, like that shit just happens. That must be that nigga cannot get through them two cars. Coming into all of these cars here again. This is Northbound Carmen. Bro, now, and he's it's not moving. He's stuck. Now he's stuck. Let's go get his ass, bro. Bro, get his ass, bro. Okay, nah, y'all playing games, bro. Y'all playing games, bro. Y'all playing games, bro. At all, it looks like the van is now stuck. Yeah, this is likely to start a fire. You can see those those rims are starting to glow. You're not moving, bro. Yo, this car next to him must be shook as fuck, cause I know I would. Northbound Carbonita Road, and he is now stranded here. We'll see how this officer deals with this. He's likely just gonna wait for backup, but right now it doesn't appear as though that van is stuck. This nigga's wheel is all ghost, uh, fucking ghost rider timing, nigga. Bro, at this point, just let it go. When this nigga gets caught, he's definitely getting like 50 to life. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Oh, that car's parked? The car to the right is par a parked car? Damn, somebody gonna be mad as fuck when he get out. Probably not aware. Bro, look at, look at his ass. That's right. That nigga trying to move. Yo, come on, bro. You've got to wonder, you've got to wonder if he's thinking about getting out of this van and trying to hijack another one. You've got to at least wonder whether that's going through his mind. He's probably Nigga, the up. car is steaming. The car is, yeah, it's GG's for that car. 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 Just a disclaimer, this is a preview of a game. GTA 6 coming out for PS5, Xbox, PSC, Nintendo, and on mobile. That's right. I was aware. I was going to say, he might not even be aware that his wheel's on fire, but certainly he's aware, aware of the fire under the hood. More pieces flying out there as this vehicle is starting to come apart. Yo, that nigga need to leave, bro. I'm thinking it came from the, well, it could be, because, I mean, where else would that be coming from? But I don't think any shots have been fired yet, so that probably is not the case. But that wheel, that left rear wheel, is also creating uh, some metal as well. So it could have come from the rear, but now I've got to wonder uh, if that transmission has just uh, reached its limit, and that's what's producing the, the smoke here. Not sure, but in any event, it is overheated, and uh, it looks like the vehicle is now disabled. Additional units now pulling into position here. I mean, I bet it, the transmission is begging for us. Like, this nigga pushing fucking 100, nigga, just going over anything. Nigga ran through a gas station, like, fucking at least 30 curbs. Nigga hit, like, five different cars. Like, I wonder why, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. 
this is I'm not gonna lie, bro. GTA Six is it's just looking different. GTA Six is just looking different, my nigga. I'm not gonna cap to you. But this nigga right here, you really have to really just think in his head, like what caused bro to really do this? You know what I'm saying? What 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 caused bro to actually like like what was I know they said it was a traffic stop, but what was he about to go to jail for that it was that serious that this motherfucker need to like bro this joint is a whole hour. I'm not watching this whole joint. But bro, what was it this serious what was this serious, bro? So, so back up from CHP, back up from CHP and forward to PD as he gets out of the vehicle, crawls out of the passenger window and is now running forward northbound Carmenita Road. Running up northbound Carmenita at Leffingwell Road as he crosses the street. We've seen this person make several desperate attempts to hijack other vehicles. We will see what he decides. Oh, uh, now he's running out of GTA shit. Here in, forward, or here in uh, the uh, La Mirada area, I want to say, and he is now running down the sidewalk without any other wheels at his disposal. He's going to start running out of steam here, and we'll see if this uh, ends in a foot pursuit because I think they are pursuing him on foot, but I can't confirm that from my vantage. I know bro's tired. He's not like that. He's not like that. He's going to run into a residential uh, alleyway here. Loses his footing. Oh no, oh no, he's now, and he's now run into a Yo. Bro! Bro, hit behind the trampoline. Alleyway here. Loses his footing. Oh no, oh no, he's now on private property. You saw that, it looked like a woman uh, next to her home here. He's now in the backyard, and he's gonna hide out here along Levingwell Road. Uh, jumping fences, he's jumping fences, looking for a way into one of these homes. Little dog, small dog down the backyard. He's under that, under that, uh, that... That patty, yeah, that awning. He's trying to get to that car. That Yo, car. I did not think it was going to get this crazy, bro. This nigga has now went from fucking Grand Theft Auto, bro, evading the police and so much more to fucking breaking and entering, bro. I'm telling you, this nigga is getting at least 50 to life. There's no way, bro. This nigga has at least broken 15 laws, my nigga. Several dogs parking. He's now going through that, through that sliding glass. Okay, okay. Them dogs ain't shit, bro. Because how y'all ain't handle my nigga, bro? Like, and one of them dogs look big as fuck. I ain't going to cap. Two of them look small. One of them look big as fuck. How you ain't handling him? Several dogs barking. He's now going through that through that sliding glass door, making his way into the home. How did he get in the house? So I don't lock y'all doors. Like homeowner, not sure. Or he, he might have just he might have broke it. He might have broke it. That makes sense. On the other side of the building. I don't think he has any clue. Very dangerous situation here. Where we have no information. But here comes somebody running out the front. Look at this. Look at this. A confrontation inside the house, a family home, and now we're gonna come around the front here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. He, he just he just got in that truck. There's a dog under that truck. Oh my goodness. Look at this. He Bro, it, it he's been going so long it changed day, it changed fucking day cycles, bro. It's night now. Outlet, you have to wonder, he's very aware of that night sun coming from the helicopter, and I can only imagine that that night sun is agitating him even more. So at least we made it through there without any trouble. He's made it his way through that parking lot, now back onto Hadley Street, where you can see squarely that night sun is on him, and hopefully that doesn't cause him to amp things up even more than they already did. Didn't about pushing that shit, know, too. Want was. It was an attempted traffic stop. He failed I think it's Cali, I think. Obviously, there was much, much more to the story, and from the very beginning, I was questioning whether that original Black Honda Civic uh, even belonged to him, and from what we're witnessing here, my bet is that was likely a stolen Damn, he definitely hit that car right there. Through another major That's so terrible, bro. Like, all these cars are getting hit, bro, and you don't, they're not even to get well he got insurance but it's just like it's so much work niggas coming home from work and shit like that just to be hit by a nigga who has a fucking unpaid traffic ticket probably my nigga head to head here he's gonna come head to head with another sheriff's deputy and he's just gonna go around him that's the protocol you can see the following protocol they're pulling over letting him around they're not gonna box him in and part of the reason guys is because these tactics play this he's going out of the neighborhood where there are about half an hour oh, 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 right through those deputies again just missing them Unbelievable. what's the tactic yo Oh, the yo, chat, I don't know if y'all really see this, but there is at least fucking 100 police officers outside, my nigga. I'm not even exaggerating either, bro. One, two, I think I see a, 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 a like a, a third one behind him, bro. And there's like 10 over there, bro. And just let bro go at this point. Yo. There's about a dozen black and whites, a sea of organs trying to keep up with him, and they are—they just have nothing, no tools at their disposal at the moment to get him off the road. I can tell you that part of this is tactical protocol within the department because there are other agencies that would treat this a little bit differently, but right now they are sticking with the book and basically just trying to. Okay, I'm just being, I'm just told that he uh, is facing now three charges of ADWs, assault with a deadly weapon on a law enforcement officer, on top of all the other crimes that we witnessed here this afternoon. Yeah, he, assault with a deadly weapon when it comes to a police officer, yeah, there's no way he's getting out. Like, bro just made life way worse for himself, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just to kind of add it to the list, but you can see how many cops are pulling in here, it's unbelievable. And at this point, Jack, they're not getting him, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's, it's been a whole hour. Y'all have not got bro, and y'all have had multiple chances to now know he had the protocol or whatever, but it's, it's obvious the cops don't got it, bro. So let's go ahead and call Goku. Let's go call Naruto. Let's go call uh, Nationwide. Let's go. Let's go call somebody who actually like really know what they're doing. Let's call uh, 
Bubble Guppies, Team Umizumi. Let's go call some real niggas to really handle this shit, bro. Cause niggas not handling how it's supposed to be handled, bro. He called it maybe the result of one of those collisions uh, uh, earlier on the same road before he made his way to that neighborhood. Uh, possibly. We're gonna try on, uh, by the way, to get on the other side, get on the driver's side, and catch a glimpse of that left rear tire to see what he's working with back there. But something back there was hitting the pavement, creating those sparks. There you see more sparks oh actually God. coming from the front. It's coming from the front left. Front left sparks. We'll see what his treads look like. But he is. He is. He's missing the tire again. He's missing the tire. Okay. So by the way, this is not the first time we've seen this in this pursuit. Last time. This. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way he's gonna continue these turns, especially at these speeds. And they're gonna close in on him when he does. But again, Yo. there are so many innocent people in the immediate vicinity of this. Uh, it ended right now. The vehicle was like, but this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, they could have. Yo, maybe I'm talking crazy. I'm talking about my ass because I don't really know about police protocol and all that. Actually, police protocol section three, uh, verse nine 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 states that you cannot actually, like, bro. People have gotten fucking packed up for less, bro. I'm not gonna lie to this motherfucker. That's the, that's just the thing. People have really gotten packed up for way less, nigga. Now niggas not as is not niggas don't want to do it no no more when it comes to this nigga. I'm not gonna catch you. Like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, it would have been a small price. To, that might sound crazy. I'm not gonna, but it really would have been a small price to pay for everybody's fucking vehicles and shit like that. I'm not gonna catch you, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. There is just so much crossfire, so much uh, collateral uh, in his way here. Uh, civilians that are just in danger every time uh, I, I see. Every, oh man, I just, I, sorry, I just cannot keep up with this guy. He is. He's gonna lose. He's gonna lose control of this vehicle, and it's gonna end very ugly. But at least for the time being. Right. More sparks. Yep. Don't they got that? The technique. What's the You're technique called? Where they they put the little. Uh, Spiky joints on the road. Don't they, don't they have that? What's that joint called? They put the spike joints on the road to, like, kill tires and nobody can, like, you can't move out the vehicle. I mean, he'll go on foot again, but, I mean, spike trap? Do that. Or isn't there, like, a, a, a T-bone maneuver? I don't think they do the T-bone maneuver anymore because, like, I know niggas really get packed up off that, but, like, um, I get a better idea of how much law enforcement is dedicated to getting this guy off the road. There's about a dozen units behind him. We just saw another half dozen in front of him in the opposite lanes, and now he is continuing at a high rate of speed on a straightaway portion of Hacienda. Oh, it's a residential he's area. That ain't gonna work. Okay, that, that makes sense. That, that makes sense. That he's on borrowed time with this truck. It's a... That's illegal. It's illegal. To, it's illegal to do that. Wow, it's crazy. Corner Galen Hacienda into a gas pump, and now he's gonna try and get out probably. But no, he's gonna put reverse back in. First was that deputy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm not going to hold you. We're just going to let, we're just going to put, we're just going to, we're just going to let it uh, rock right here. I don't think I can watch the rest of this one. <laughs> um, there's still 30 minutes left, bro. I'm not going to hold you, chat. I don't want anything to come up where he actually like, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's looking like that's how it's going to end, bro. Like there's, there's nothing he can do right here. He's done. In any event, here comes our rest team. They're gonna approach with shields. Bro, up. they got the riot shields. You would think this, bro, like a a a real like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro got a bounty on his head and everything. Bro pulling out the riot shields for bro. Like, what is bro? He must have fire on him, bro. That's the only way. Shields up, guns drawn, and they've got. That's crazy, bro. About this, we were right over Knott's Farm, and as they arrested two suspects inside the park after locking down Stoke City, we turned around, and a high PD's airship was heading to another pursuit, and we literally turned around, and here came this Honda Civic flying up the 93. Damn. Meanwhile, the, the gas station clerk don't know what the fuck going on. The gas station clerk just like, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, damn, I was just, you know what I'm saying? Sipping on some shit. Bro. Right past Knott's Berry Farm, and that's when the pursuit was on once again. From one to another, we stumbled on this one, and the rest is literally history. Damn. I mean, you know, I, I, nigga, there's at least 15 niggas out here, bro. I ain't gonna count you. This nigga is not getting out for at least a millennium, bro. This is up there, guys. I, I always go back to the RV, like David said. Okay, hold on. We're gonna cut it out right there. Uh, we we already seen what happened, bro. Now, there, th that was fucking. That was actually crazy. Like, I, I can see how that's the craziest car chase, bro. Was like, put him on on the chase for a while, bro. Now, I know there's probably protocols that they have as well. I couldn't get him when he had the white van, but, bro, something in my heart just tells me he could have got, got bro, when he was in the white van, bro. Like, that would have been an easy, like, I don't know. I feel like so much bread could have been saved, so much, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But that was a that was a really, really good, like, car chase, like, journey. I don't even watch it like that. I'm not going to hoot you, bro. But, bro, yeah, he's definitely getting, the, he's definitely getting life, bro. He, he's definitely getting life. I'm not going to catch you. Like, if not execution, I'm not going to hoot you. Um, plugs, actually don't touch that. I want that. I, I want that. I ain't gonna catch you. I right, BBG. Alright. Hold it back like I'm double heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Hold it with we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Everybody 
Chili 